High-fiving can be one of the most stressful things you'll ever do in life. It doesn't have to be, though. Just remember this simple list of tips and tricks. Pressure, not too hard and definitely not too soft. Timing, don't start too soon unless you only want to wave in return. You'll know you're in the five zone when your partner is roughly the distance you can throw a microwave. Location, pretty much anywhere is fine except for funerals and urinals. Now watch out for the ball and socket. This is where one partner goes for the high five and one goes for the fist pound. In the event of a foul tip where a temporary loss in concentration turns the high five into a high two, just keep walking and never turn back. If you completely miss, just pretend you meant to. As far as your partner is concerned, it's just one of these crazy things you do. And beware of the faker. This guy is always ready to fake the high five and quick grab his way to an awkward one-way handshake. Just go with it. There's nothing you can do in this situation. If there's a chance you'll be in proximity to the killer, carry an ice pack in your back pocket. He'll want to display his strength by slapping your hand as hard as he can. Ah! Be prepared to go with the flow. You never know when you're going to encounter the snapper, or even worse, the 12-stepper. Mere palm contact will never be enough for these guys. If you're ever tempted to try out the two-handed jumper, the spank, the you're too slow, the windmill, the fresh prince, the chester, or especially the around the back, through the legs, palm spit piggybacker, please refrain. Now you're ready for the high five. Join us next week on Out of the Office Etiquette as we discuss how to casually brag about your accomplishments when no one asks.